Hello everyone, I'm Raholmus. Welcome to Unmetal. Now, to my understanding, this game is basically a uh, homage slash parody of the original Metal Gear. Now, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear, you know, for the NES and, uh, what was it, the MSX. Which we never got over here, which is a shame because the MSX version was much better. Then again, I think it's available on Steam now. Or if you had the uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence, you could have played it back then too. Anyway, let's get started. Easy, medium, hard. Hmm. A little medium. Once upon a time, a Soviet war helicopter entered Allied territory. Missile! As the pilot emerged from the wreckage, he was arrested by the same bastards who shot him down, and later was brought to a military base for interrogation. That pilot was me. My God. Name? My name is Fox. Jesse Fox. You don't seem to be Russian. Russian? Me? You were piloting a Russian aircraft two hours ago. I also drive a Toyota, and I'm not Japanese. All right, Mr. Fox. Before arresting you, I'm obligated to write down a report with your version of the facts. So tell us what the hell you were doing in that heavily armed Soviet helicopter. It's a long story. Sergeant, bring us some coffee. Yes, sir. Wachowski, bring the lieutenant some coffee. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Fox, we have plenty of time. Explain what happened. In 1972, a crack commando unit threw me in a prison for a crime I didn't commit. You're under arrest for a crime you didn't commit. What? I probably escaped from a maximum security stockade to the underground trying to survive from these soldiers of fortune. I don't hear. Let's start from the beginning. How did you escape from that cell? Piece of cake. I just had to write a note. A note? Where'd you get the paper from? I used toilet paper. I see. And how did you find a pen? A pen? I was in a dirty, grimy cell, not in an office. I wrote the note with a rusty wire, using my own blood as ink. Toilet paper. We may be pirates, but we're not barbarians. We'll let them keep the toilet paper. Kick punch block. Wire, wire. Yes. Oh, here we go. scratched my arm with the wire and got to work. It wasn't easy. The toilet paper tore under the pressure of the bloody wire. Those bastards gave us cheap paper. One ply, unscented, and unpatterned. Monsters. Why did you break the toilet? Why not grab the paper like a normal person? You know how prison is. It will kill or be killed. That toilet was mighty. <laughs> Jesus. You schmuck. Do you really think I'd be stupid enough to kill myself? Kill myself? Kick. Very good. Guard locked in the cell. Then I threw away the key and got out of there. Mr. Fox, what about the noose? Where did you get that from? Where did I get the noose? Are you seriously asking me that? I am, Mr. Fox. I'll tell you later. What?
the cell I found myself in a prison yard surrounded by some buildings there were piles of boxes and other stuff here and there and the ground was plain dirt oh and it was night let me through Yes, yes, give me the medal. Yum. Who How did you keep punching those crates? Then why this gratuitous violence? I don't know. I suppose I got lost in the moment. You know, for being imprisoned for a crime I didn't commit. <laughs> okay, so the game's gonna be like that, is it? That box contained some filthy cloth scraps. I made some handy bandages to prepare for when I would get wounded. Bad news. Dirty cloth rags don't heal you. They just stop the bleeding, and I ain't got time to bleed. Good news. I could reuse these rags as much as I wanted. Good dirty cloth is hard to come by. What? I don't wanna. Not sure I feel about uh, the Jesse Fox voice actor doing his uh, solid snake impression. I thought everyone would be asleep at night, that it was safe to escape. Oh. I was dead wrong. I noticed the presence of. What? Two guards on the night shift. Oh, crap. Ow. I was injured and losing blood. I had to heal that wound before I bled to death. Yeah, it's, it's bleeding all right. What have you got for me? Give, give to me your secrets. A ring? How dare. Crap, he heard me. He heard me. Sleep at night. All right, let's try this again. Escape. I was dead wrong. Dead I noticed wrong. the presence of I won. one guard on the night shift. Yes. Have you no we? Ooh. Experience. Delicious experience. You should have gone to the water closet. It would have been safer in there. Oh, use the toilet to save the game. Okay. <laughs> Hey, over here. 
Deep throat. Hello. You talking to me? Affirmative. My name is Colonel Alan Harris, 5th Battalion. I'm Jesse Fox. Rep. I'm not military, Colonel. Then tell me, Fox, what the hell are you doing here? I've been jailed for a crime I didn't commit. Do you know how to get out of here? Try to escape through any sewer. There must be one nearby, because it stinks when it's hot. Once outside, move along at nighttime and sleep during the day. What about you, Colonel? I've been tortured. My legs won't make it. But if you bring me a radio, I can help you escape. Hold on. Harris, are you sure you heard him say Alan Harris? Yes, sir. Saw him yesterday. Look, Mr. Fox, Colonel Harris died a month ago in an ambush. Well, it's the name that stubborn old man gave me. I see. I'll write down on the report that you talked to Colonel Harris after his death. Continue your story. As I was saying, Colonel. I searched for a radio to bring him. Search for a radio. Under some crates, I found my salvation. A sewer hole. There was no ladder, and I couldn't see the bottom. I needed to find a ladder or rope if I wanted to go down. Oh dear. No, oh, that ain't happening. What's this? Took a coin off the guard. Money? What'd you intend to spend it on? I suspect there's no shops open for an escapee on a midnight run. Who said anything about spending? I used it to distract soldiers. I quickly found out that guards love picking up free coins off the ground. Hey! A coin! Surprise! Unencrypted radio. radio. Without encryption, I knew other guards could listen in on my conversations with Harris. I see. You still haven't told me how you got that noose. I'll tell you later. <coughs> As I was saying, I needed to find a special encryption circuit to install in the radio. This, ooh, what's this? Secrets upon secrets. Bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, 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 bum. But why? You stay over here. Crap. No, no, no. Injured and losing blood. Yes, yes, yes. I had to heal that wound. This. Depleted uranium ball. What? Yeah. You stole a one-eyed man's patch. A one-eyed man that would shoot me without hesitation. Because it was his job, what you did was macabre <laughs> and suggest you might have a fetish. Holy Jesus. Well, that patch turned out to be handy to create a lethal weapon. Hmm. 
Wait, what is this? Oh. <laughs> what? You removed his glass eye too? Yes, I took it out because it was suspicious. What was suspicious? Why did a one-eyed man have a glass eye under an eye patch? He'd be using a patch or an eye, but not both. Maybe the eye was some sort <sighs> of surprise. I kept it just in case. If you say so. Hey, buddy. I have no paper. Can you bring me some? Here you are. Thanks, man. You saved my ass, literally. What the fuck? What sort of paper is this? Ah, uh, uh. One ply, unscented and unpatterned. It's the kind the prisoners use. Fuck, that's why their hands stink so much. By the way, who are you? I don't recognize your voice. I'm Lieutenant Marcus Stevenson. Lieutenant, you say? Sir, I apologize for my manners. I did not know your rank, sir. Relax and clean up your rear guard well. Sir, yes, sir. Uh... We are. More depleted uranium. I ran into a guard as I went in. Luckily, the guy was sleeping. That bastard was going to have a rude awakening. Bind these two. The weapon you created with the patch was a slingshot. Sort of childish, don't you think? What were you gonna shoot? Pebbles? Depleted uranium balls. Three shots and goodbye, guard. No. What's this? An an empty party. Gross. Alright. Oh shit. Damn it. The lethal weapon you created with the Damn it all. Just wait this time and I, no 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 bad mm, wristwatch Maybe them depleted uranium balls Whoops. Just Buy it I Sneaking. With those first aid kits, I could disinfect and heal my wounds. Good news, those kits stopped any bleeding and also healed my wounds over time. Bad news, once you used them, they were gone. Give me health! Yeah, for my health goes up. No, bad. Uh, 
Sure. And the first aid kit was promptly wasted. All right, let's go see what this guy wants for his cigarettes. Cigarettes? my lighter back. What lighter? You bastard. Screw yourself in that cell. Jackass. The soldier says to his captain, Sir, I need to request leave for this weekend. Why do you need it, Private? I'm gonna have a baby, sir. Congratulations, request granted. Next week, the captain asks him, Private, is it a boy or a girl? And the soldier replies, I don't know, sir. I'll find out in nine months. What's in your closet, Private? It's water, sir. I reached a special place where I found something. What, Mr. Fox? It was. What was it? Damn, I can't remember. We. It's so mysterious. No, no. Shades. First aid kit. Rope. Let's find a rope. I mean, a thick ass rope. Do I have a ladder yet? I could use the rope, maybe. ready to use the rope to go down but I couldn't find anywhere to tie it I needed a hook or something to anchor it to the edge of the hole hmm No, oh, hello. Didn't know that was an option. There's no map. I will break that box. What the hell? God mode artifact? A ring is sacrificed, okay. I keep that on standby unless I really, really need it. Potty again. Now what? A 
I've been here? Hey, bro, help me. Get me out of this hole. If you're in a cell, it's because you committed a crime. And I don't free criminals. But you're a prisoner, too. I've been in prison for a crime I didn't commit. Fuck you. Hey, friend, I'm also innocent. That's what they all say. Please, they keep the key in that box. Party time. Hold on, I'm opening it. Thanks, dude. Oh, what a pity. The key broke. You bastard! Hasta la vista. Saved. Does that mean it's gonna come back to bite me? I bet it is. Ow. Ooh, a secret secret. Oh, yeah, now I remember. It was that damn grenade guy. I wanted to punch the hell out of him, but I couldn't reach him. Why couldn't you reach him? There was a ditch. A simple ditch stopped you? This was no mere simple <laughs> ditch. It was full of tentacles and blood-stained spears that moved up and down and bony arms <coughs> that tried to grab me and deadly lays okay okay mr fox i get it you couldn't reach him for your own good i'll not include the spears arms and tentacles in my report now mr fox please continue your story all right the fight began as he tossed the first grenade at me. Grenade guy, Rolento? Ow! Ow! Oh God, ow! Oh yeah, now. Whoa. No, no. No. No, no. KO. I searched the grenade guy. Wait, wasn't there a ditch? I used the bridge. What bridge? But you told me you couldn't cross the ditch. Because I didn't see it at first. I was completely focused on my opponent, the grenade guy. I see. Ooh. Let's go steal fists. He's out cold. Yes. Yeah, yes. Before going down, I had to tend to some matters with Harris. Uh, 
Okay, what are you talking about? So, where's the encryption? Um, I'll have to look for it next time, because we're out of time for this episode. So, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.